you have chosen to do the lesson on fermented cereals and legume based products. Cereal grains constitute a major source of dietary nutrients all over the world. The cereals belong to the family graminae or the grass are one of the most important sources of carbohydrates in the human diet. Wheat, rice and maize are by far the most important cereal crops on the basis of worldwide tonnage and well over 300 million tons of each is produced annually. Although cereals are deficient in some basic components such as essential amino acids, fermentation may be the most simple and economical way of improving their nutritional value, sensory properties and functional qualities by producing compounds such as organic acids, alcohols, aldehydes, ketones and carbonyl compounds. Since the beginning of human civilization, there has been an intimate relationship between the human being and the fermentative activities of microorganisms. These fermentative activities have been utilized in the fermented food production processes, which are defined as those products that have been subordinated to the effect of microorganisms or enzymes to cause desirable biochemical changes. Introduction Fermentation as a way of preserving food dates back thousands of years but it is now being held up as a potentially important source of friendly health giving microbes. The microorganisms responsible for the fermentation may be the microbial flora indigenously present on the substrate or they may be added as a starter cultures. It is apparent that indigenous fermentation improves the digestibility and nutritional value of various foods and contributes towards the nutritional well-being of the world population. Due to the uncontrolled increase in Indian population and rising cost of milk and other proteins of animal origin, the consumption of fermented foods is expected to increase in future in view of the protein malnutrition, particularly among the people belonging to the low income group. Since Fermentations also produce meat-like flavor and texture in foods. The products prepared by controlled fermentations can provide a cheaper alternative to feed the additional segments of low-income group in developing countries like India. In general, fermentation is a food preservation method intended to extend shelf life, improve palatability, digestibility and the nutritive value of food. Lactic acid fermentation comprises of the chemical changes in foods accelerated by enzymes of lactic acid bacteria resulting in a variety of fermented foods. Lactic acid fermentation processes are the oldest and most important economically feasible forms of production and preservation of food for human consumption. It has been reported that Fermented foods globally contribute 20 to 40 percent of the food supply and usually one third of the food consumed by human or fermented products. This renders fermented foods and beverages a significant component of people's diet globally. Fermented foods are produced worldwide using various manufacturing techniques, raw materials and microorganisms. However, there are only four main fermentation processes which includes alcoholic, lactic acid, acetic acid and alkali fermentation. Alcohol fermentation results in the production of ethanol and yeast are the predominant organisms. Examples include wines and beers. Lactic acid fermentation observed in fermented meals and cereals is mainly carried out by lactic acid bacteria. A second group of bacteria of importance in food fermentation are the acetic acid producers from the acetobacter species. Acetobacter convert alcohol to acetic acid in the presence of excess oxygen. Alkali fermentation often takes place during the fermentation of fish and seeds popularly used as condiments. Thus, according to Steenkras 1995, the traditional fermentation of foods serves several functions that are Enrichment of the diet through development of a diversity of flavors, aromas and textures in food substrates. Preservation of substantial amounts of food through lactic acid, alcohol, acetic acid and alkaline fermentations. 
enrichment of food substrates biologically with protein, essential amino acids, essential fatty acids and vitamins. Detoxification during food fermentation processing and finally a decrease in cooking time and fuel requirements. Microbial activity in foods make them more attractive in terms of appearance and flavors. Such foods are more appetizing, easily digestible and form an important sector of food industry. Fermentation improves the digestibility of the ingredients for human consumption and enhances the keeping quality and shelf life. Fermented foods add to the variety of foods available and protect against the food poisoning and transmission of pathogenic microorganisms. In many cases, they serve as important source of protein calories and contain vitamins. The biological agents involved in food fermentations include filamentous fungi, bacteria and yeast occurring in succession or in combination. Generally, filamentous fungi bring about the sacrification and proteolysis of the starting materials. Bacteria cause acidification and leavening while yeast ferment the sugars to produce alcohol and esters which import desirable flavors to the products. Indigenous fermented products constitute an important part of human diet in Southeast Asia including India, the Middle East and Africa. They are also becoming popular in the developed world due to their high nutritional value and organoleptic characteristics. People of Asia are the pioneers in the development of means of fermenting vegetable proteins to produce meat like flavors. Indonesians developed the fermented method methods for introducing meat like texture into the vegetable products. Koreans are credited for the production of acid fermented vegetables. People of Egypt developed wheat breads leavened with yeast while Indians discovered methods for sawing and leavening cereal legume batters. Now let us see the major types of cereal and legume fermented products. Soybeans, black grams, mung beans and bengal grams are the principal legumes used in the preparation of a variety of fermented foods in different parts of the world. These are fermented separately or in combination with cereals. This picture shows the list of some important indigenous fermented foods of the world. Biochemical changes that occurs during cereal fermentation. During cereal fermentations, several volatile compounds are formed, which contribute to a complex blend of flavors in the products. The presence of aromas representative of diacetyl acetic acid and butyric acid make fermented cereal based products more appetizing. Traditional fermented foods prepared from most common types of cereals such as rice, wheat, corn or sorghum are well known in many parts of the world. Some are used as colorants, spices, beverages and breakfast or light meal foods while a few of them are used as main foods in the diet. The microbiology of many of these products is quite complex and not known. In most of these products, the fermentation is natural and involves mixed cultures of yeast, bacteria and fungi. Some microorganisms may participate in parallel while others act in a sequential manner with a changing dominant flora during the course of the fermentation process. Natural fermentation of cereals led to a decrease in the level of carbohydrates as well as some non-digestible poly and oligosaccharides. Legumes and cereals contain indigestible oligosaccharides such as stachyose, verbascose and raffinose which cause flatulence, diarrhea and digestion problems. The alpha D galactosidic bonds in the above mentioned sugars are relatively heat resistant but they can be degraded by the galactosidase enzymes of some lactic acid bacteria during fermentation. The microorganisms disintegrate these flatulence causing and indigestible oligosaccharides into utilizable disaccharide and monosaccharides. Fermentation can also decrease the activity of the proteinase and amylase inhibitors in cereals resulting in an increase in the availability of starch and essential amino acids such as lysine, leucine, isoleucine and methionine. 
the protein quality and nutritive value of fermented products were improved during fermentation due to either microbial protein synthesis or loss of non-protein material. Certain amino acids may be synthesized and the availability of B group vitamins may be improved. Phytic acid, tannins and phenolic acids are polyphenols that are considered to be anti-nutritional factors and are found in cereals and legumes. The anti-nutritional factors contribute to malnutrition and reduced growth rate due to the promotion of poor protein digestibility and by limiting mineral bioavailability. Fermentation also provides optimum pH conditions for enzymatic degradation of phytate which is present in the cereals in the form of complexes with polyvalent cations such as ion, zinc, calcium, magnesium and proteins. Such a reduction in phytate may increase the amount of soluble ion, zinc and calcium several folds. Let us move on to microbiology of cereal fermentation. A large number of bacteria, yeasts and yeast-like fungi have been isolated from various cereal fermented foods. A review of published reports shows that filamentous fungi belonging to Aspergillus, Muca, Neurospora, Rhizobus, Pesilomyces and Fusarium and bacteria belonging to Leuconostop mesenteroids, Lactobacilli, Streptococcus faecalis, Pediococcus, Micrococcus and Bacillus and yeast belonging to Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Candida species, Debaryomyces hansenil and Hansenilla animala are most commonly associated with the traditional fermentations. These organisms are generally contributed by the ingredients, workers and the surroundings. Since the source of inoculum is not apparent, the study of biological agents actually associated with fermentations has attracted considerable attention over the years. Deheld black gram grains used for the production of various indigenous Indian products have been reported to harbor Leuconostoc mesenteroids and other lactic acid bacteria in large numbers which play a major role in black gram fermentations. Ordinarily, the microbes developing during the initial soaking of ingredients and later are sufficient to bring about the fermentations. Pre-soaking of the ingredients release the free sugars and non-protein nitrogen sources which support the growth of lactic acid bacteria. Spices as added in some ingredients also enhance the food fermentations by stimulating the development of certain lactic acid bacteria and accelerating lactic acid production. Lactobacillus bacillus planetarum and Pediococcus cerevisiae have shown their ability to grow in the presence of up to 10 to 12 gram per liter of the majority of spices including pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, garlic, turmeric and celery seed with enhanced lactic acid production from carbohydrates. Stimulation of other microbial species such as micrococci and yeast were also observed. All the species contain high manganese content which has been identified as a factor responsible for stimulatory effect in the enhancement of acid production. Seasonal variations affect qualitative and quantitative prevalence of bacteria and yeast in different traditional fermented foods with summers favoring the former and winters the later. The biochemical and physiological characterization of predominant microorganisms associated in Indian fermentations indicates that both leuconostoc and lactobacilli, the common bacteria associated with stable food products presumably produce acid and gas from various carbohydrates thus making the environment unfit for other contaminants which gradually disappear with the progress in fermentations. Streptococcus faecalis perhaps comes from air in later stages and produces more acid causing further acidification thus enhancing the shelf life of the products. Bacillus amyloliquefaciens and Bacillus polymixa which are generally associated with idli and dosa batter fermentation are likely to be 
contributed by rice and help in the degradation of starch into maltose and glucose by producing extracellular amylolytic enzymes. Some strains of Saccharomyces cerevisiae also produce acid and gas from starch itself and may thus play a significant role in adding to the acidification and leavening during fermentation. Fermented cereal and legume based products. Cereals are deficient in lysine but are rich in cysteine and methionine. Legumes deficient in sulfur containing amino acids such as cysteine and methionine. Thus by combining cereals with legumes the overall protein quality is improved. Some of these cereal based fermented products classified according to the main raw constituent will be described in the following sections. Now let us first see the traditional rice based fermented foods. Idli, a fermented thick suspension made of a blend of rice that is Orisa sativa and dehealth blagram that is Phaseolus mungo is used in several traditional foods in Southeast Asian countries. Foods of acidified and leaven type like Indian idli constitute a very interesting group of cereal pulse based foods of considerable importance in the developing and underdeveloped world. Idli is closely related to sardo bread of western world but does not depend on wheat or rye as a source of protein to retain carbon dioxide during the leavening process which is produced by bacterial source rather than yeast activity. Idlis are spongy pancakes steamed in a special container and consumed as a staple food primarily in South India. They have been in use since 1100 AD. The proportion of rice and black gram in Italy ranges from 1 is to 2 to 4 is to 1. The lactic acid bacteria, leuconostoc mesenteroids, streptococcus faecalis, lactobacillus delbrueckii, lactobacillus fermenti, lactobacillus lactis are to be responsible for the fermentation process. Although Leuconostoc mesenteroids and Streptococcus faecalis are considered to be the microorganisms essential for leavening of the batter and for acid production in Italy, the yeast Geotrichum candidum, Torolopsis holmi, Torolopsis candida and Trichosporan pullulans have also been identified in Italy fermentation. Fermentation of Italy batter appears to have a significant effect on the increase of all essential amino acids and in the reduction of anti-nutrients such as phytic acid, enzyme inhibitors and sugars. Idli is a low calorie, starchy and nutritious food which is consumed as breakfast or snack. Steamed idli contains about 3.4% protein, 20.3% carbohydrate and 70% moisture. A uh, fermented food that we look into is dosa which is a thin, fairly crisp, fried pancake like food of South India which is prepared by spreading the fermented batter on hot greasy griddle. The batter is prepared in a similar way as that of idli but the proportion of rice and black gram is 1 is to 1 kept instead of 4 is to 1. The microbiological, physical and biochemical changes of dosa during fermentation and its nutritive value are quite similar to idli. Dokla is also similar to idli except that Bengal gram dal is used instead of black gram dal in its preparation. A mixture of rice and chickpea flour is also used as the substrate for the fermentation. As in idli preparation the fermented batter is poured into a greased pie tin and steamed it in an open steamer. Next we will see traditional wheat based fermented foods. Soy sauce. Soy sauce is a dark brown liquid made from a blend of soya beans and wheat which is mainly used as an all purpose seasoning in Japan, China and the Far East countries. Soy sauces have a salty taste but are lower in sodium than traditional table salt. The soybean wheat mixture is inoculated by molds and after 3 days of fermentation at 25 to 35 degrees. The soybeans and the flour mixture known as koji at this stage is immersed in a brine solution containing 22 to 25 percent of the ratio of koji to brine which is about 1 is to 3 weight by volume. After mixing 
the salt concentration of the mixture usually falls around 18 to 21 percentage. This brine solution containing koji is known as moromi. The moromi is left to ferment for a period of 1 to 12 months. The longer the fermentation time, the better the soy sauce quality. After the moromi fermentation is completed, the liquid part that is the soy sauce is separated, filtered, pasteurized and then bottled. The microbes include fungi such as Aspergillus varizae, Aspergillus soyae involved in the koji production. Halotolerant lactic acid bacteria and yeast strains such as Zygosaccharomyces ruxi and Candida species are also responsible for the moromi fermentation. The characteristics aroma and flavor of soy sauce is due to the enzymatic activities of yeast and some lactic acid bacteria. The next uh, fermented milk wheat mixture known as kisk is the Middle East and Trahana in Greece and Turkey are important foods in the diet of many population. In addition to their well established position in the dietary pattern of the people in the aforementioned countries, these products have been promoted in Mexico and Europe. Kish is typically prepared by adding strained yogurt to bulgur and allow the mix to ferment at ambient temperature for different periods of time. The wheat grains are boiled until soft, dry, milled and sieved in order to remove the bran. Milk is separately sowed in a container, concentrated and mixed with a moistened wheat flour. The milk undergoes a lactic fermentation and the resulting paste is dried to a moisture content of 10 to 13 percent and then ground into a powder. The product is stored in the form of dried balls, brownish in color with a rough surface and hard texture. The microorganisms responsible for the fermentation include Lactobacillus planetarum, Lactobacillus casei and Lactobacillus brevis, Bacillus subtilis and yeast. Kish is a balanced food with excellent preservation quality, richer in B vitamins than either wheat or milk and well adapted to hot climates by its content of lactic acid. Trahana. Trahanas are prepared by mixing wheat flour, sheep milk, yogurt, yeast and a variety of cooked vegetables and spices including tomatoes, onion, salt, mint and paprika followed by fermentation for 1 to 7 days. The fermented matter is dried and stored in the form of biscuits. The fermentation process and the type of product obtained are very similar to kishk. The sheep milk yogurt contains Streptococcus thermophilus and Lactobacillus bulgaricus as the major fermenting organisms. Trahana has an acidic and sour taste with a strong yeasty flavor and is a good source of protein and vitamins. The practical nutritional importance of Trahana is the improvement of the basic cereal protein diet by adding dairy protein in a highly acceptable form. The low pH and low moisture content make Trahana a poor medium for pathogens and spoilage organisms. In addition, Trahana powder is not hygroscopic and it can be stored for 1 to 2 years without any sign of deterioration. Next we will see traditional corn based fermented foods. Ogi is a fermented cereal gruel processed from maize although sorghum or millet are also employed as a substrate for fermentation. It is considered the most important weaning food for infants in West Africa although it is consumed by adults. For the preparation of ogi, the cereal grains are steeped in earthware, plastic or enamel pots for 1 to 3 days. Lactic acid bacteria, yeast and molds are responsible for the fermentation process although Lactobacillus planetarium is the predominant microorganism. Other bacteria such as Cornibacterium hydrolyze the cornstarch. Candida species also contribute to flavor development. The fermented grains are wet milk and wet sieve to yield the ogi slurry. The nutritional qualities of ogi have been reported and revealed that during the fermentation, phosphorus is released from phytate and it is found to be a rich source of niacin and riboflavin contents also increasing. Ogi has a sour flavor similar to that of yogurt 
and a distinct distinctive aroma which makes it different from other known cereal based fermented products kenki is a fermented maize dough eaten in ghana the fermentation is dominated by a variety of lactic acid bacteria particularly lactobacillus fermentum and lactobacillus reuteri though yeast and molds also contribute to flavor development a mixed flora consisting of candida saccharomyces penicillium aspergillus and fusarium species were found to be the dominant organism during the preparation of this product pozol is a fermented maize dough with a form of balls of various shapes and sizes it is consumed in southeastern mexico by indians for whom it can be a main component of the daily diet to prepare it maize grains are boiled in lime water and coarsely ground the resulting dough is kneaded to form a compact ball that is wrapped in banana leaves it is left for at ambient temperature from a few hours to several days or even more than a month a complex microbial community that is incorporated mainly during the grinding procedure ferments the dough lactobacillus lactis streptococcus suis lactobacillus planetarum lactobacillus casei lactobacillus alimentarium lactobacillus delbrueckii and clostridium species have been identified in this product now next let us see traditional sorghum based fermented foods enjira is the undisputed national food of ethiopians it can be made from different cereals including sorghum teff corn finger millet and barley although teff is the major cereal ingredient in ethiopian enjira to make enjira the grains are dehulled manually or mechanically and milled into flour this flour is mixed with water to form a dough the starter is added and the dough is fermented for 2 or 3 days the starter is a fluid saved from previously fermented dough after fermentation the dough is thinned down to a thick batter and poured onto a lightly oiled pan which is then covered with a tightly fitting lid to retain the steam within about 2 to 3 minutes it is ready to be removed from the pan and then is placed on a basket the storage period does not usually exceed 3 days at room temperature the microorganisms involved in fermentation of enjira are mainly yeasts some fungi including pulleria species aspergillus penicillium and rhodotrilla uh, species and homo dendrum species candida and number of unidentified bacteria the major quality attribute of a good enjira is its slightly sour flavor enjira has a very high nutritional value as it is rich in calcium and iron kishra or asida is similar to enjira and it is consumed throughout the arabian gulf and iraq kisra is made from fermented dough of sorghum or pearl millet flour the fermented dough is baked into thin sheets the main microorganism isolated in kisra are lactobacillus species acetobacter species and saccharomyces cerevisiae fermentation of kisra increased riboflavin significantly decreased thymine but caused no significant effect on the mineral content to conclude this session traditional fermentations are likely to remain an important part of global food supply many may evolve into fermentations involving the use of starter cultures enzyme additives and controlled environmental conditions and others may benefit from genetic modification of the cereal or starter bacteria further research should be directed towards identifying the benefits and risks associated with specific indigenous fermented cereals elucidating the contributions of microorganisms enzymes and other cereal constituents in the fermentation process and developing starter cultures unique microbial strains for nutritive improvement and detoxification and testing of new cereal varieties for their suitability as fermentation substrates